Spooky ghost, spooky ghost, spooky ghost in the closet, spooky ghost. So I know that I'm late and I know that I am the world's worst YouTuber, but I am back. My hair looks really dumb. Holy Welcome to my new apartment. I know it's been like two weeks since my last upload, but the reason for that is because we were moving into this wonderful place and then it was my birthday. Don't worry though, don't worry. I'm not, I'm not upset that you didn't get me anything. It's fine. The merch link is in the description. Go buy yourself a demonetized dad hat. Wear that shit to the mall and everyone will know that you don't make YouTube money because they hate you on this platform and they do demonetize every single thing that you do so you have to sell hats with the picture on it god damn it look the bottom line is i wasn't here for your middle school graduation but i'm here now so it, it's okay anyways once you guys are done buying merch if you head over to the discord which is also linked in the description and you put your purchase in the merch chat i will give you this really cute gold rank it's the merch purchase gang you get special privileges and shit so make sure you check that out aside from that man how are you guys doing because i'm doing phenomenal it has been an insanely good week i can legally buy alcohol hall in the United States now I have this new apartment my bedroom is huge okay there's an echo but I got I have acoustic foam I just have to put it up jumping back into the swing of things though you guys spooky <laughs> ghost spooky ghost jumping back into the swing of things though <clears throat> <clears throat> Honestly, just jumping right back into things. There was a video I said I was gonna make over a year ago that I just never ended up making. This video was on a really, really bad game, like literally one of the worst rated games on the platform, and I never ended up making the video on it. So I wanted to come back today, and I just wanted to finish out the anthology of the bad Steam games. What does anthology even mean? You guys ever do that? You like use a word because it sounds right, but you don't know? Yeah, this this works. A public... A pub... <laughs> A published collection of poems or other pieces of writing. That's that's fine. We, I mean, hold on. Pieces of shit. That is a lot better. <laughs> Anyways, I made a video a while ago using this Hall of Shame website, which shows the worst rated games on Steam. And we played them all, except for Airport Simulator 2014. I, I said I was gonna play this as its own video because I have heard from multiple sources that this is the unequivocal worst game on Steam. And I need to experience this for myself. The reviews on this game are just not good. Uh, it's overwhelmingly negative with 519 reviews. Realistically, most of the positive reviews are probably jokes. There's 147 positive positive reviews and there are 811 negative reviews just like a real airport read a book while planes get delayed by slow ground crews and poor management that sounds about right oh also the camera is going to be really shaky um it's on my desk and my desk is not leveled yet so you guys have to bear with me like i we literally just moved into this place a few days ago had a party for me for my birthday and then had like two recovery days and that was it like your boy is not set up here yet i want some fucking cereal Ha 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 you fell for it again. It's it's still it's still me. That's a funny joke. They got this new cereal out now. It's kind of good for you, but it's kind of not good for you, and it's really good. It's called Fettuccine Alfredo. The vibe I get from this game is that it is so good that it is bad. Nobody likes the airport. Nobody wants to stay at the airport. And I think that what they were going for here was an authentic airport experience. So I'm hoping that we'll get that here. How do I play this, guys? <laughs> also, is there no audio? Right off the bat, dude, this game has no audio. There's grids and there's a vehicle. I can, dr oh, okay, crash the vehicle. Can I, is there no first person? This is not authentic simulation if there's no first person. I'm really perplexed at the lack of audio in this game. You would think that an airport simulator would at least have like car noises or like airport noises or something. I can appreciate the absolute beautiful ray tracing shadow reflection on these windshields though, holy shit. I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Are you supposed to like buy this game knowing how to control an airport? Like am I already supposed to know exactly how an airport operates? Is this like a job training simulator for actual airports? Like if 
you don't if you don't turn the business around you can't get the job as the airport manager this van has a good turn radius all right popping bottles in the ice bro like a blizzard when we drink we do it right <laughs> I'm terribly sorry for that, dude. Holy shit. There's, it looks like there's an airplane that's getting ready for takeoff. I didn't authorize that. We will be checking it out here. Coming up for your inspection here. Coming right up here for your inspection. Hold on. If you could just stop your plane so I could inspect it, uh, that would be really nice. Okay. All right. Seems that we are at a stalemate here. Oh. I guess I'm taking off with the plane. What is going on? Am I being mounted by an airplane? <laughs> the airplane's like every dog I've ever owned, bro. Come on. This is gonna get worse before it gets better. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, so as you can see, this is exactly like a real airport would be. You know, if you really go to the airport, uh, you, you can just walk out on the runway and... Okay. <laughs> what? <clears throat> It went and did all that, and then it crashed on me, dude. What the heck, man? Look, I was gonna make a whole video on Airport Simulator, but I'm just not seeing the content there, bro. That's a $10 game, and literally all you can do is drive into one airplane. I guess this video just turned into Horrible Simulator Games 2. That's fun. You guys remember Game Dev Tycoon? You remember that fantastic game where you create a video game company from the ground up, you become a millionaire, you amass insane amounts of wealth through your trials and tribulations with creating and generating different video games engines and consoles this is exactly like that except nothing like that because it has the graphics of leisure suit larry for the xbox from 2001 and also it has 314 negative reviews let's do it bro these cinematics are mind-blowing this is a this is like 140p like actually how is this that bad this game came out in 2014 dude gta 5 came out in 2013 dude this is <laughs> there's no excuse for that man let's play this let's be this fucking guy because he has a ponytail let's make our logo something really stupid like a butterfly in a circle let's do it look at this dude he's got like matrix glasses on but also an orange bow tie what is this this is not what I thought I'd be doing, dude. It's like I'm playing a Flash game. Which one is my company? Wait, wait, what? What's going on? What? Get out of the bank, dude. You don't, you're you not supposed to be in the bank. Wait, what? Bro, where the hell is my company? Is it here? What is this? Is this a game store? Where is my game company? Why Why is this all like this? Is this my company? It looks like it because I'm on the dartboard. Also, here's my stupid looking son. No, I'm talking about this one. Okay, this is my company. Here we go, I found it. We're gonna create a game. Please choose the game engine. Yeah, um, how do I do that? How do I choose the game engine? Oh, I, I have to create an engine, sorry. Okay, let's just do it all. We'll do it all. We'll make this the best game ever made. I don't I don't even care what all this is. We'll do everything. A save function in 1985? That's unheard of. Oh, the name the name of the engine, Poopy Engine 1. All right. Dude, I have I have no clue what's going on and it's really annoying. What do I do now? Dude, what this game is unplayable too. Let's see here. Give me a $250,000 loan. How do I do this? I just want somebody who can make Poopy Engine 1. <laughs> it crashed. This game crashed too, bro. What is up? What is up with these games, man? Here's some additional content until the next game installs. Oh, I love my wife. I love my wife. Ah! Let's go ride a bike with my wife. Ah! My wife's real young. My wife's real small. Let's go to the beach and play with a beach ball. Praise Jesus God and my wife. Let's go to the beach and ride a bike. This next game is called Help Me Doctor. That's the doctor. This is why I bought it. I'm gonna quickly grab my next patient. Uh, as you can see, she is dressed to impress. That is, is, is she like on drugs? What is up with her eyes, dog? Help me, doctor. My, conti my conditions are uncontrollable peanut butter appetite, bro. Eating an enormous amount of sweets every day and rubber bones. I think you might just be fucking fat. <laughs> I'm looking through all of the uh, all the symptoms and diseases down here, and I don't actually see um, anything that matches her her symptom. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and I'm gonna have to go ahead and diagnose you with AIDS. Have a nice day, though. Good luck. Next, we have uh, an egg. This gentleman suffers from uncontrollable dancing. Uh, he can't stop talking. 
and his farts smell nice. Also AIDS, so you have a nice day. Um, it's it's AIDS, good luck. <laughs> All right, it's been about two weeks and I am officially uh, going out of business. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this doctor adventure today. What a trip, man, it was fun. Yo, look at this poster that says, don't be afraid, that's terrifying. Help me doctor, my conditions are nicely smelling farts, persisting hiccup, uncontrollable dancing. You are also morphing into Hobbit. But actually, uh, it looks like just from looking at you, uh, it's just AIDS. You just have AIDS. It's fine. It's just fucking AIDS. Fuck out of my office with your AIDS ass, dude. Get out of here. All right, guys, it's been a nice trip. It's been about a week and uh, I am officially going out of business. So this was a great experience and I'm glad that we could do it together. You know, all in all, I would say that this has been an enlightening experience. I'm gonna pop in one more of these games and I'm gonna hope that I get something good. I'm not gonna grab the bottom of the barrel. I'm just gonna grab like the, the middle of the barrel here, okay? <laughs> See, all the other reviews were negative, but if I go right to where the reviews are like neutral, we're gonna, we're, we're we're gonna see. Uh, we're gonna see what we can do here, because these these mixed review games are hit or miss. You know, some people really love them, and some people really don't. I just paid seventeen ninety nine for Police Simulator Patrol Duty. Okay, this is a game that has mixed reviews, and and just it it just really looks great. Okay, it came out last month, and it has a thousand reviews. And if this game is not the best police game I have ever played if this game is not exactly like the movie end of watch I am gonna be really really salted okay this was almost $20 I really need you guys to click the link and buy some merch bro I'm gonna lose my house <laughs> oh my god she's hostile <laughs> wait what I just <laughs> it doesn't even show me tasing the other cops you just lose the game I just waited like 15 minutes to tase somebody and I just got ruined for police brutality, bro. Come on. I just want to throw in here that there probably would have been like three more minutes to this video, but this game was so poorly made that OBS just could not record it and I didn't realize until it was far too late. Rip my $20 and this game is trash. Zero out of 10, not enough brutality. Okay, honestly, I don't really know what I expected playing the lowest rated simulator games, but I am thoroughly disappointed. I really do think that it should be the responsibility of Valve to step in and prevent games like this from being able to be in the Steam store. The police game was a little bit buggy. I think if I took more time to figure it out, I would have had more fun with it, but the other three games were almost entirely unplayable. And I know there wasn't a ton of content in this video, but that's kind of the thing Thing with these types of videos. I'm not gonna not upload this because there was still some content, but I want you guys to understand that that's how some of these games are. It's not always I find games that are incredibly entertaining or I find gems or whatever. Most of these games are very hit or miss. A lot of times what happens with all of the random games I buy and all of the low rated games I buy, I mean, you're dealing with the bottom of the barrel. They're, they're, more often than not, there's absolutely no redeeming qualities of these games. That doesn't mean that I don't respect the work and effort that people put into them like I, I do and you know all of that is far beyond what I'm capable of doing I have no knowledge or resources to code games but if I did I would make sure that whatever I put out wasn't a shitty product and that's I think where I, I, I stand different than some of these smaller game developers I understand that as you progress you get better like if we go back and watch my first YouTube video it's much much different and it's much much worse than the videos that I produce now but at the same time some of these games have asking prices of like 20 and 30 dollars and they are just riddled with disgusting amounts of bugs and they're just not good games. It's pretty rare that a small studio comes out with a game that's an absolute banger and I understand that you need to get experience in the field before you can really produce higher volume projects but the fact of the matter is simple. There are a lot of really bad games on Steam. <laughs> like really bad games. And the fact that I've been able to play them with you guys for so long uh, really makes me happy but I do want to move on to other things and you know since I am in this new place now, I'm not going to stop making these videos, but I'm definitely going to be making them less. I'm not going to, like, every other video isn't going to be a random Steam Key video anymore. My next couple videos are going to be completely different from stuff that I normally upload on my channel. I really just want to experiment with things. I'm in a new apartment. I have a ton of new space. I have this green screen that'll show a bunch of pictures of carrots on it. That's pretty neat. I'm really just trying to expand and grow as a creator, and I feel like I'm not going to get better at creating if I don't try new things. So I really want to kind of branch out a little bit, maybe try some commentary videos and just do some other stuff stuff. 
as well as that guys i am going to be live streaming on twitch every other day or every day i'm not really sure yet it depends on what i have time for as you're seeing this and as i'm speaking these words i am actually live on twitch right now so click the link in the description head over to the merch shop buy a hat and then uh head over to my twitch and tell me that you bought a hat i am going to be live streaming i'm probably going to be playing some modded minecraft or counter strike or something i don't know dude just tune in i'm just doing whatever i want now this is my channel bro i'm taking it back this is gonna be a good year thank you guys so much for watching this video i'm excited to be able to use my face cam again i'm excited to have a good environment again and i am super excited to produce more content for you guys have a great day thank you for making it to the end thank you for buying my merch and i will see you guys in the next video peace out